blankets are nice and tidy and not bumpy because I think as a client it's not very comfortable when the blankets are bumpy and also I just tuck this in and it means that I don't have a big to get over just want to check small amount of oil Although we've oiled the back already, just to make sure Jackie's skin is quite dry. So. Oh wow, I'm really getting the rosemary now, <laughs> which is amazing. So we're going to start off one and a half effilage, and this is a nice flowing one. So we're coming one hand up to deep cervical and another hand up auxiliary and we do this four five six and then we come over one <coughs> hand to auxiliary one hand over two And we start with caresses. Bottom. And we're going to start at the base of the spine, top of the sacrum. Okay. And just up either side of the spine. 45 degree angle and it is your finger pads, not your tips. Okay. And what you're doing here is you're feeling for any firmness, any knots, any puffiness. So you're basically diagnosing where the tension and we have tension in the thoracic. And always butterfly that tip. Now we're going to do reinforced fingers, or double G's, as we've nicknamed them. So again, just place your middle finger on your index finger, same movement, but a bit more pressure coming in the middle. That's it. So we've got nice red lines. Not scratch marks, red lines. Okay. And again. And we would do this three times. So that's six runs all together. And when we've done a really concentrated movement, what do we do after that? Can you remember? So if you're doing a really concentrated movement, then we do, what do we do? Do we want it to be continuously? Same yes, yeah. that's right. So it should be heavy light, heavy light, heavy light. So how are we going to do that? We're going to use double flats and we're coming up <coughs> to the your spine in between the scapula round the top of the trapezius and no pressure over the spine two light pressure, pressure in so two bows for two figure of eights and then down gently okay then pressure up. And depending on the tension of the back, you can do four or six, two on each side or three on each side. Yeah. If the client's got a lot of tension around their shoulders, then I would do six. And if not, then just four. But because it's aromatherapy, we don't do like a lot of, sort of deep tissue. So this is our kind of deep tissue part. <laughs> okay. 
So we would do either four or six of those, two on each side, um, coming up and coming back down so that you're linking. And then we go into our sum pressures, okay? So feel for the axle point here, and we're coming down to here. So thumbs together, and we're coming in here and along. Take a deep breath in, bend your knees. And as you breathe out, apply a two count pressure. Breathe in for two counts, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And my knees are bending, my elbows are soft, my shoulders are soft, okay? My wrists and my hands are soft. If they were firm, it would feel as if I was poking the client in the back with a pencil. Going down into your legs and put your body weight forward. Okay, and this will really protect your body and it will feel deep but comfortable for the client. And what should happen is the client's breath should become a lot deeper, so she's using her full lungs rather than her diaphragm, rather than shallow breathing, and also that she will start breathing with the one, two beat, so that she's in, um, her breath is in time with her biorhythms as well, so very relaxing. Slide up, do you want to come round this way? Okay. And then they come round. Never work on the same side because you do not want your thumbs sliding into the spine. Okay? Deep breath in and press down. About an inch. Deep breath in and press down. About an inch. Feel for the indentation and your thumbs should be parallel. Okay. And at this point, this is when I use all my hands. That's why I would not let Josh use lemon grass because it makes him look ill. And we would do this again depending on the tension in the spine. I tend to do three runs okay, on each side when I'm working with my own clients. I just find it's very, very relaxing for the client and especially if we've got somebody who is quite tense, um, suffering from stress. If you come round again, please. Suffering from stress then this really, really helps to release that tension. So I'm going to do this one more time and then we're going to do thumb scoops. Okay. Okay, Janet, you want to draw this? Okay. So you should all be very focused and ready for your exams and for the end of this time. Let me know how it goes, let me know how you feel, see if it works as well for you as it used to for me. <laughs> glide back up. It's just a glide back up, okay? And again. Oh, see the difference now in the pressure. The 
first one we were hardly getting an indentation whereas this one it's going so you can see and this is a neuromuscular um, two and up so it's also sending a message from the nerve branch to the area of the body that that nerve serves to relax at the same time as well as clearing the lymph channel okay or clearing the fluid <laughs> okay. Now I'll just stay on this side and I'll do the thumb scoop for you. Now the thumb scoop again we're coming down about five here, okay, from five. So sliding down and holding there and then sliding towards with the other hand and letting that scoop underneath the first hand. Holding it, okay, so the fluid can't go anywhere, and then scooping again with the first thumb and releasing that one, and then scooping with the second thumb under the first, and holding, you can lift that one. So it's a bit like a seesaw, the thumb action, okay, so coming up, that one comes up, that one comes down. Thumbs, thumb pads as flat as you can. Okay. Careful not to let your nails dig in if your nails are too nice and thumb nails are a bit long. Here they are, so Make sure it's always the pad of the thumb that you're using. And we'll do the same on the other side. And again, we would do this movement two to three times. Okay. It depends as well as to whether you're doing a full body or a half body. But you want to spend about 35 minutes on the back so that the rest of your massage should fit in with that. No longer than 35 minutes. And if you've got somebody who's very tense and very stressed out, it's quite easy to do that. So, and now I'm going to do my hands, my pumps. Thumbs in the channel and push, squeeze gently down to the nearest lymph. So into auxiliary, and then we're going into the chile at the waist. And then we're going down into inguinal. And what we're doing here is we're just squeezing the tissue fluid and directing it to the nearest lymph node. And then we would do that on the other side. Thumbs underneath, so that you're causing a wee charm. Push and forward. Up to the waist. 